Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the seventh video in this course and in this video we are going to continue our discussion on uh, operations that we can perform on arrays in Perl. So I have a script opened up in my IDE. It's called array underscore add remove and uh, as you can uh, guess from the name we're going to check out statements or commands that we can run in Perl to add or remove elements from uh, uh, a pre-existing array variable. So on line number three in the script I have created an array variable called players and it has uh, two values Roger and Andy. Now let's say you want to add uh, another element or another name to this uh, array variable players and you want to add it uh, at the end right that is after Andy's name you want to put another uh, tennis player's name let's say that tennis player is Rafa so the statement that you are going to use or the command that you're going to use to do that is called push and uh, you know just to see the state of the players variable before we perform the push operation I have a print statement on line number five that's just going to print uh, the contents of the players variable before uh, messing up with it and then on line number seven I have the push statement and uh, the syntax of the push statement is really simple you type in the word push and uh, within a set of parentheses you first have to pass the name of the array variable in which you want to push an item and uh, that in our case would be players and of course you have to put the at the rate symbol along with the name of uh, the variable and uh, then you have to put a comma and then you have to put uh, the item that you want to push in the list so that in our case uh, for the time being let's say is Rafa and you have to put a semicolon at the end to terminate the statement just as you do with all the other statements in Perl and uh, let's say the variable that we now have is version 2 of uh, the players array variable so we're going to uh, confirm whether the addition was made successfully or not with a print statement that we have on line number 8 so this one's first going to display the text player set to and uh, then it's going to just display the contents of the players variable now let's say you want to add one more name to this list but you want to add uh, that name not to the end of the variable but to the beginning of the variable so the the statement that you use to do that is called unshift so unlike push unshift uh, adds an item at the beginning of uh, the variable instead of uh, the end and uh, the syntax though is the same so you have uh, the name of the variable as the first argument and the second argument is the item that you want to put at the beginning and let's say um, we want to add Novak's name to the list so at players comma Novak is going to put Novak's name at the beginning of the list again I have a print statement on line number 11 to see the contents of the players variable just to confirm whether the addition has been made on line number 13 we are going to remove an element from uh, this players variable and uh, we're going to uh, remove the element at the end of uh, the the list and uh, that in our case should be Rafa so the statement that you use to do that is called pop and uh, with pop you don't have to mention the element that you want to remove it automatically uh, pops out the last element in uh, the list so it just accepts one argument that is the name of your uh, array and uh, that in our case is players and on line number 14 I have a print statement to see the uh, fourth version of uh, this players variable just to confirm whether this statement has worked and then finally let's say you want to remove an element from uh, the beginning of an array right uh, the command or the statement for that is called shift it automatically shifts out the first element from your list so uh, to confirm whether this has worked or not I have another print statement on line number 17 and this is going to uh, print the final uh, version of the players list which should also be the original version by the way so let me make sure this is saved and I'll run the script by pressing F5 so there we go we see that uh, player set 1 has Roger and Andy 
then we use the push statement to add Rafa to the list so we have Roger Andy and Rafa now and then uh, in version 3 we added Novak at the beginning so we have Novak, Roger Andy and Rafa and then we used uh, the pop statement to pop Rafa out so we are left with Novak, Roger and Andy and then finally we used the shift statement to shift uh, Novak out of the list and we are left with the original version which had Roger and Andy so that's it for this tutorial i hope you guys had fun watching this one you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'm going to see you in the next tutorial till then take care